Uh, this video that we're making today, this is a supplement to the wheel alignment section. So Rob and I are going to discuss where to find adjustments for wheel alignment angles and then explain what these adjustments on the vehicles do. The first adjustment is at the rear of the vehicle for the rear camber. This picture shows the eccentric for rear camber adjustment. This vehicle, like many vehicles, does not have adjustment for rear toe. So moving to the front of this vehicle, we can see that there is no adjustment from factory for the camber or for the caster. Most times you can get an eccentric kit if adjustment is necessary in the front. However, if we look down, we can see there is the inner and outer tie rod there. There's a jam nut, loosen that, and that will give me my adjustment for my toe. This video is showing the upper control arm on a vehicle. The adjustment here adjusts both caster and camber simultaneously. So you'll have to be aware of that if you make adjustments. So here I am adjusting the camber on the vehicle. Also remembering that this may adjust caster. Rob is continuing to make the adjustments on this upper control arm. And here you can see the eccentric moving, and as the eccentric moves, it does move that control arm substantially, which does adjust the camber, but also adjust the caster as the front and rear of the control arm move separately. This is the computer monitor for the alignment equipment as Rob is making those adjustments we just saw. If you have a look on the right side, you'll see the right front caster and camber changing as we speak. So as he's adjusting one, it's adjusting both caster and camber. So what we need to do is make sure we get both of those in spec, keeping an eye on the total spread of caster and camber from both sides, and try to even them out as close as possible. Also note, while you're under the vehicle, try to keep an eye on the, on the monitor. It will make your life much easier. So here I am adjusting the final adjustment on the wheel alignment, which is the front toe. The last thing to do once done adjusting the tie rod is to make sure that the jam nut is secure. Here we can watch the monitor as Rob is adjusting the inner tie rod, which is then adjusting the toe settings. So we can see Rob adjusting the toe, trying to get it into spec. So he's going to try and get the total toe as close as possible in this situation. So looking at the screen, you can see I've done some fine adjustments on the left toe. Now. This alignment is ready for the printer so it can go into the customer's file for their vehicle. Oh, thank you for watching the video. I hope you got uh, some good information out of it. If you do need a little bit of review, I have some information here on camber, negative and positive camber angles. I also have some information here on caster, so negative and positive caster angles. If you go all the way to the end, I have some information on toe. Toe in, which is positive, toe out, which is negative. And if you come back to here, again, the order of the wheel alignment adjust, adjustment, starting with rear camber, then rear toe. And with that rear toe, you'll adjust the thrust line. Moving to the front, front caster, front camber, front toe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.